G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, one of the main drivers and reasons for organizations to move to Microsoft 365 is in addition to uh, improved communication and collaboration, uh, is the this concept of the single source of truth for all of our documents. Being able to manage our files better, version, history, collaboration, sharing files, and no need to uh, send email attachments and that type of thing. Now, there are a lot of things that um, you know people and users of Microsoft 365 um, you know think that they are doing things in the right way. We're uploading documents to one to one chats. We're uploading documents to group chats in Teams. We're sharing files through Microsoft Teams or through OneDrive or SharePoint. But there's uh, a number of situations that this isn't necessarily the case. So for example, when we're working or talking or chatting or communicating with a colleague in a one-to-one -one chat, we upload a file, we're actually creating another copy of that and another version of that and it's stored in a separate location. While it's still stored in your OneDrive, it's in a different part of your OneDrive. So in this video, what I wanna do is just go through a few different scenarios of uh, where this happens and just some things to look out for so that you don't get yourself into a situation as I've seen and I've experienced through um, other users and other organizations as well, is that we think we're doing the right thing. We're using Teams, we've got our files in there, we're sharing them in a chat or in a group chat, um, but we don't really understand that we are actually, the way that we've done that, we've actually created a new file or a new version. So let's jo jump in and have a look at a few different scenarios. So we can see here that I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm logged in as Megan here. Um, and I'm in a conversation with Alex. You can see that we've got a document here. I've shared a document. Of, um, I've actually uploaded this document, how to write a specification, all right? You can see I'm in my files tab across the top here and we've got access to it. Alex has got access to it and we are all good. So we're all working or both of us are working on that document. Now, Let's say that I wanna upload or let's go through that process uh, from start to finish. Now we can see down the bottom here in our compose um, toolbox here, we can attach files. So we can upload from my computer or we can uh, locate it in my OneDrive. All right, so if I click on OneDrive, it's going to open up uh, the UI here where I can select a file and I can um, share that in this chat. All right, so We've done that. Let's just uh, write a little message, um, report to work on, and let's now send that across. All right, so you can see there, I've now shared a file. Now, you'll also notice here that I've got a little breadcrumb, and you'll see that this is actually the breadcrumb and the location of this file. It has stayed in OneDrive for Business, all right? So that's a good thing. I haven't created a new copy of it. It is actually located in my OneDrive. So you can see here, if I copy this link, um, you'll see that it is actually located um, in my OneDrive. If I take a look at the URL, um, you can see that it is actually in my OneDrive. Now, the other option that I have here is upload from my computer. And this is where a lot of people tend to get in, you know, th think they're doing the right thing, but they're actually not, all right? So we actually are creating a new copy and a new version. So if I go upload from my computer and I go to my OneDrive and I look at this same document. So I am in my OneDrive. I've got my OneDrive synced to my computer. This is the file that I want to share, but instead of sharing it, what I'm doing here is I'm actually uploading it. So when I select this, even though it's in my OneDrive on my computer and I open this, let's have a look and see what happens. Um, here is a another copy and let's now send that. Now what we can see here is that that link is actually, or the representation of the file here is a lot different because what I've actually done is I've uploaded this file, a copy of this file to this chat. And if I jump into the files tab, you can see I do have five, uh, three different files or two different files with the same name, but they're in different locations. 
okay? So when I upload a file to a chat, that is actually creating another copy of it, even if I upload it from my OneDrive like I just did. Now, these files are actually stored in, in your OneDrive, but in a special folder in your OneDrive called Microsoft Teams Chat Files. Now, if I double click here, you can see that I've got, there's that document there, Annual Financial Report uh, brackets draft. It's in this folder, but I've also got a copy of that here. So it's the same document, or I think it's the same document, but it's actually two different versions. So just something to be aware of when you are uploading or you're in a conversation or you're in a chat with another person and you upload a file to that chat, you are actually uploading it to that chat instance and another copy of that file is being, um, is being uploaded or created there. And you do have still the original copy of that document. So if you don't want that to occur, we need to choose OneDrive. Okay, and that will actually keep that document where it is and it will actually share that document and grant Alex, in this case, the correct permissions to be able to access and edit that document. All right, so that's in a one-to-one -one chat. Now, a similar thing happens in a group chat. So you can see here, Megan's in a, a conversation here with uh, Adele and Joanna. Now, this group chat also has a files tab. All right, so here, if I'm working with Adele and Joanna and I, and I want them to work on that same document, then I've got the same things I can do here. Now, I might be under the impression that when I go upload from my computer, I'm uploading this same document here, and then I go like this, but you can see here, this file already exists. So Teams here is notifying me, looks like I've, I've recently shared this file in Teams, do I want to replace it or do I want to upload a copy? So in this case, let's go replace post in a message and we hit send. Okay. So here I've actually shared this document here. I go to files. You can see here that I've got uh, a copy of that document. Now, if I copy the link to this document, you can see that this is actually in um, in my OneDrive, but it is in a, um, a a different location in my OneDrive because I've shared it um, with uh, in, in another chat. You can see that. In, if, let me just jump into the OneDrive here, and I'll go to Microsoft Teams chat files. You can see here that that document there. Uh, is the same one. So what's happened here is that I've replaced that document with the, the most recently updated version of that, right? So now I, I've got still got two versions, but this one that I've just uploaded means that I've replaced that other version of the document where I shared it with Alex. So you can see here, I've got annual financial report draft, let me just jump into this one here and let me make a change. Let me just replace this title here. So we'll just, um, actually let's just add some text. Some text and let's have a look at what document this actually is that we're working on. So let me close this out. And I was working on this one here. So if I jump into this document here, which is the original, which is the one in the, the, the root of my OneDrive for business, if I open this document up, what you'll see is that it's a different version, all right? It doesn't have that change. Now let's jump into the group conversation that we're in with Adele and Joanna. So we'll open up this document and let's have a look at what version of this document it is. So you can see here, that's the same version as the one that uh, I uploaded to Alex in the one-to-one -one chat. So we've still got two copies of it, one in my the root of my OneDrive, and this one here, which is now shared in two locations. So shared with Alex and shared with Adele and Joanna. Okay, so there's two versions. Now, what happens if we jump into Christy and Joanna? So here, let's do the same thing. 
So what we're going to do here is upload from my computer. We're going to choose that same document. And now you can see if I upload a copy, that's now going to create another copy. So you can see here it's in brackets number one and I hit uh, send here. Now you'll notice here, let me open up this document now. So this is the third copy. So we've got the original in the root of my OneDrive. We've got the one that I shared with Alex in the one-to-one -one chat and the same one that I shared with uh, in the group chat before. Now this is, let's just call this version three and let's close this. So let's jump back into Windows Explorer. Let's jump back into OneDrive. Let's go to Microsoft Teams chat files. You can see here, I've now got two versions of this document that I've shared in two different locations, all right? So now, in actual fact, I've got three, all right? So something to be aware of when you're working with files out of your OneDrive and in one-to-one -one chats and also group chats, just be aware that there's the, the different actions that you take or the different uh, ways in which you share or, or uh, attach documents to a one-to-one -one chat or a group chat really do make a difference in uh, the way uh, that the documents are managed. All right, so even if you do want to keep the single version of a document at all times, then what we want to be doing is we want to be selecting the OneDrive option, selecting your document there and actually sharing the document as opposed to uploading a copy of that document because that creates a new copy of it. All right. So I hope that brings uh, some value to you all. Um, Rewatch this if you need to. Reach out for me uh, to me if you need any clarification on that. More than happy to um, uh, have a conversation with you about that, or even record a, a little uh, another little video for you um, that you can use internally. Even so, let me know uh, if that brings value. Hopefully, that clears a few things up for everybody. And just be aware that uh, there are still different ways in which you can work on documents inside of Microsoft Teams, and there are consequences or different ways in which those documents are handled as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.